Hello, Imperium. This is a little how-to segment on a new game that I just got called Imperial Assault. Um, it's the tutorial that's explained in the uh, initial rules guide and learn how to play guide. It's just a basic uh, rules to how to get started. Um, a few things you need for it is some strain token. Yeah, um, you need some hit tokens. You need some crate tokens. You'll need your deployment oh, cards. Since I'm playing with two people, playing with uh, Sister Sororitas, uh, Lori, and D and D Dominating Darian, uh, they'll each have one card, one deployment card. Uh, I'm the Imperial player, so I'll have the two deployment cards. Um, the way it works is uh, in the tutorial. Uh, after forces have been picked. Um, you can look at your deployment cards and you can see that on my Stormtrooper on the Imperial deployment cards are a little different than the the Rebel ones, I'll discuss those in a second. But on the Imperial ones you'll see that it has three bars on it. That represents how many troopers this one card represents. And you'll see that it has health, that's how many damage tokens it can take. It's speed, how many movement points it can move. It's defense, what color dice it rolls to when it defends an attack, what kind of attack, it, it, uh, signified by the blaster or the lightsaber. A lightsaber means a melee attack, a blaster means a uh, ranged attack. And uh, those are the values. That's the dice you can color you roll. Uh, you see that I have one bar on the Imperial Officer card. That means there's one Imperial Officer that comes with that Imperial Officer card. Now on the Rebel card, there's two sides to it. They have the same values, health 10, endurance 5, yeah. uh, speed 4. Endurance is another one that's not on the uh, Imperial card. Endurance is something that yeah, uh, is want. used, is tallied by that. It's called a strain token. There are certain abilities that you can do, like as you see on his card, it says, use when you declare an attack targeting a figure that does not have line of sight, and this attack has pierce. That ability costs one strain. So you take a strain token for using that ability. Now that uh, strain token, when you have five strain tokens on this particular card, whatever the, the number is, um, he'll start to take damage when he exceeds that number. So you can only use the ability so much before it starts to hurt you. It's called strain. Now you can also use, you can also take strain in the movement phase to add uh, numbers to your movement total. And you can only do that twice per movement phase, per activation, can you strain yourself, but you can strain yourself twice to move two extra squares. Whoa. Now, they uh, have a defense, and on the Rebel card, the tutorial says that you come with the gun equipment card that is uh, specific to the hero that you chose. Sister Sororitas Lori picked uh, Mac Enscare, so he's uh, he's got his long blaster, and his is a ranged attack with, that he rolls two blue dice on. Now there's um, two sides to the card. After he's taken all the damage to his health, you flip the card over, and you'll remove all the tokens from it, and then now you play the character as this. So you notice that his endurance went down by one, his speed went down by one, and his defense is a little different. And he's lost one of his abilities. That's because uh, this is the wounded phase of the card. After you've taken all the damage, he goes to the wounded side. After he's taken all the damage on the wounded side, then um, the character is dead. These don't figures here at the bottom don't matter in for the tutorial purposes. So, that's that. Crate tokens. As you see map, map, uh, marked here on the map, there's a crate token. That token can be accessed by heroes at any time. Uh, Imperial players cannot access to uh, crates. Um, and you can draw a crate token or a crate card to get a beneficial item. Once you use it, it's removed from the board. Okay. Um, these other tokens here are terminal tokens. You can interact with them as an action. I'll talk about that here in a second. Okay, so we've talked a little bit about the cards. Now we'll talk about movement. 
and uh, the three phases of, or the two phases of the game. There's the activation phase, and there's the uh, status phase. The activation phase consists of the rebel player starting with a hero. Uh, it's always the rebel player first picks one hero, and um, he activates it. And now you get two actions during each activation. Um, you can use those actions to, say, move and attack. You can use them to move and rest. That's another option you have. Resting. Um, resting is an, ac an action that only heroes can do. Imperial players cannot do it. Um, resting is a way to recover one strain. And if you have no strain, it's a way to recover one health. Um, yeah, and then there's um, special actions, which... Uh, You'll see, you'll see on some cards, like my Imperial card here, has a little arrow with a slash on it. That's a special action. Yeah. He can do that instead of an action during his activation phase. So, heroes are the only Probably ones who can choose to attack twice during an activation. Imperial players have to attack only once during an activation. Well, they don't have to attack, but to if the they witch. do attack, they can only attack once. The purposes of, uh, or you can also interact as an action. That's another action you can take. Interacting consists of moving to an object and declaring that you're going to interact with it. Like if I wanted to open the door, if my character was adjacent to said door, I declare I want to interact with it. That's an action. And then it's removed from the board. Same thing with terminals. If I wanted to interact with a terminal, I declare I interact with the terminal as an action. Um, the purposes of the, of the tutorial is uh, for the Imperial player to either interact with one of the terminals or to kill one of the hero players. The hero player's object is to kill all the Imperials on the map. Pretty simple. Um, there's one thing I didn't tell you. When you move, uh, you gain movement points equal to the speed value on your card. Uh, those movement points can be spent at any time during your activation. So, uh, the Imperial Officer here has a speed of 4. Now, during my activation, I could move 1, 2, 3, declare I interact with the door, remove the door, and then remove my remaining point 1. Okay? So, you don't have to necessarily move um, all your movement at once. Cool. Uh, another thing, line of sight is drawn by picking a corner of one of your squares and drawing two non-intersecting lines to right. the to the square that you want to go to. So, say I have a player here and a player here, and I want to draw line of sight to that stormtrooper. Right. I would take this corner and I would draw to that corner, and then I would draw from that corner straight across to that corner. Okay. Got it pretty simple. It's a little bit better than hero clicks, actually. Hero clicks is you draw one line from one corner to the nearest corner. Anyway, um, a little bit about the terrain. Red markers are impassable terrain. They're things you can't get through. There's notice on this map there's a, like a broken down uh, heavy crawler of some sort here. Uh, you can't move through red squares of the terrain. Okay. Uh, red speckled squares are impassable. You notice that on the map here there's like a rock wall, yeah. and there's a speckled line on it. That means I can't move through that speckled line. I have to go around it. Uh, also, you cannot draw a line of sight through a speckled line, because that's impassable. Basically, this, these guys are behind a little rock wall here. This Imperial officer is on the other side of it. Black denates walls. So wherever you see a black line, that denates walls. You notice there's another speckled line here, so that means there's a Blocking computer console the there that... Uh, just blocking some, uh, some view there. Um, there's another kind of terrain. Uh, that's blue terrain, which is uh, difficult terrain, which costs two movement squares, two movement points to get through. Um, uh, we don't have any of this on this map. And uh, moving through friendly figures you can do without any penalty, but moving through a hostile figure costs you two movement points instead of one. All right. Your guys' deployment zone is in here. You can pick which one of you guys wants to be in where, or you can stay there. And then, oh. how far does the deployment zone go? Uh, um, 
it's just the corner. It's just in that that little area for the okay. for the sake of the tutorial. Okay. Those okay. Four, uh, those three squares there. Got it. Bridge form right before I felt the. I'm just gonna stay there. Okay. All right. Um, 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 nah, so, nah, he one of you guys, there. pick which one of you guys will go first, and uh, nah, well, then well. activate. You want to go first? Okay, um. oh, Alright, Lori, go first. Yeah. You've played it before. Okay, I'll go four. So during a campaign mission, I'll probably need something. Yeah. All right, so that's removed from the board. Nobody else can get that crate. Uh, you still got one movement point you can spend. Can I move backwards? Yeah, you can go wherever you want. All right. Uh, so I'm going to activate my Imperial Officer. He's going to move one, two, three. He's going to interact with the door. And he's going to move one more space. And now it's your turn, sir. You can move again if you'd like, just did one activation, or you can rest. Well, thing. you can't rest because you can't recover health that you haven't lost. Alright, Alright. so now it's my second activation, so I'm going to activate my Stormtrooper. They have a movement of four, so they're going to go one, well, I'll go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. The, the hardest part four. is jumping up on that rock. And then they will move again. One, two, three, four. First stormtrooper here? Yep. Alright, I didn't get out the dice. Sorry about that. Alright, what's your uh, attack? It is two blues. Uh, now, I didn't discuss the dice rolls because I wanted to actually do one so we could see. Uh, so, right before we do a first dice roll, I'll discuss what's on them real quick. For ranged attacks, they do not have a range value if you notice on the card. Yep. Um, there are numbers on the dice. Every time you roll the dice, numbers will come up. That's the range, if you're doing a ranged attack in squares yeah, away from your target. Nice. Um, the X's on the dice are hits. The shock, or the lightning bolts are surges. The surges on the dice uh, allow you to do special abilities. Like if you see here, this lets you, for one surge, you get to gain one damage. So if I roll these Say I rolled these two greens here, I would have three damage, and I'd spend a surge to make it four damage. Nice. Now, the defense right, dice try, try has the uh, triangle symbol here. That's a block. That blocks one damage. There's a circle with a broken line. That negates one surge. And one block. And this, this particular one would be one block. One block damage, one block surge. So basically block that dice. Not the range, but just the hit and the yeah, surge. You gotta get a and then right now. one that's unique only to the white dice is the X. That negates the entire attack. That's a, a miss. So you have two dice. You're doing a ranged attack at me. Well, no, you're not. You're right up against me, but you're still using a ranged weapon. So you got three damage. Now, Stormtrooper has one defense dice, one black. If you can only... So I block one damage. If you can only do three damage, then why is there another dice? Is uh, there yeah, is there five and two? That's the range. We just discussed that. Oh. That's how many squares you shoot you can shoot away. You could be eight squares away with that oh, roll you just rolled. Shit. Now, this dice negates one hit. So you have three damage there. One, two, and then three on this one. 
by negate the one. So that trooper takes two. Right. He has a health of three, so that trooper yeah, so just needs one more damage. Yeah, he's done. So now you have three more movement points that you can spend. Can I attack again? No, because you moved, and right. that was one part of your activation. I'm going to move one damage. <coughs> All right. All right, well, I'm going to activate my stormtroopers. So I'm going to... Stormtroopers, activate. <laughs> I'm going to move one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, just wait in here for a minute. And then I'm going to attack this guy here. I'm going to draw one from there and then one from there. So I got... Right. I've got... Uh, line of sight to the Wookiee. Now I roll one blue and one green for him. What does the Wookiee roll? One black. Alright. So I'll roll. I got one surge, three damage, four squares. He's we one, two, a three away. Here. So I hit him. I mean, you're not damage away. He blocks two hits. So he blocks the two damage oh I made. God, so I'm going to spend a surge on my card to get one more damage, so the Wookiee's going to take two damage tokens. Then my second trooper is going to attack, and he's going to attack the Bothan. And the Bothan rolls away. So I definitely make it, because he's right next to him, and it's four damage. You negate one surge, so he takes all four of those damage. And then my last trooper, he's going to try to attack the Boston too. And shooting through friendly targets, you can. Uh, Non-friendly targets, you can. Last guy. So five squares away, he's one, two, three. So I could hit him. He negates the surge. He negates my surge, so he takes two more damage. So he's going to have a five token. So he's got six. And now it's your activation. He's going to charge. Alright. And what's his attack? His weapon is... Red and yellow. A red and a yellow. And I get one black. Which one are you attacking? The one that's already been damaged? Um, or are the two fresh ones? I block one hit. So, so you've got a surge that you could spend. Which I'm going to, to cleave. Alright. Cleave is one. you get um, one extra damage. So that would be one, two, three, four, five. So that definitely kills that stormtrooper. He's dead in a door now. Alright, and then you have one more movement point if you choose to spend it. Second activation, my I'm Imperial Officer. Right um, I think he's just going to try and shoot the boss oh. for his first yeah. action. So okay. he's got a yellow and a blue. I'm going to boss him in the face. And the boss has got a white. I'm hoping many bossins will die. No. Yeah, it is. One damage. Yeah, one damage, one surge. Reroll it. So you get to get one damage. So I had one surge, so I'll make one damage. So I hit him one time with my surge. But what was the range? I didn't remember. I don't. I might not have hit him. One, two, three, four. Or 
had to have a three. I don't think there's a three on this side. Yeah, I couldn't have hit her. I couldn't have hit her. Um, I, I, I don't think so, because I, I know it was the two on the other one. Yeah. So I didn't hit her. So I don't even get, don't get that damage. And my second activation, I'm gonna move one, two, three, four. Well, I'm telling you right. to shoot this guy. All right. Because he shot at me. Okay. And I'm not like Rito. I was super. All right. So uh, your first activation is shooting him. Yeah. All right. Uh, you get two blues. I know you're talking about. I can't even. Okay. Oh, okay. And I get one black. All right. So I negate two damage. You can totally make it to me with an eight range. So I, the Imperial officer takes one. Now you got a second activation. You can either attack him or we attack him. Or attack, him attack him again. We need whoever's All right. not in here. We need one more person. And you get one damage, and I take one. Wait, I think there's only. Imperial officer has one, one more left, and he's gay. Well, you and one other you attack. Kill him. All right, uh, Imperial officer is going to activate. He's going to try and shoot the boffin. You get the white dice. Okay. I get a blue and a yellow. Alright, so we reroll. Alright. So I got two hits and a surge. And you negate a surge and a hit. So you take one hit. And then he's going to go one, two, three, four. And then and now it's your turn, just um uh, Oh, and he's gonna attack, huh? Alright, peel off to get the white dice. So I negate a surge and a hit, and he takes a hit, but that's all he needs. Yep. He's a dead guy. Right. No! Alright, and then uh, my second activation will be my, uh, oh yeah, you get your movement point. No, I'm very good, there's like nothing Can't he move like that? No, you don't have enough movement points. Oh. If you move twice, you can still be here. Here? Uh, stormtroopers are gonna activate. They're gonna try and shoot the boffin. Dude, you <laughs> I'm trying to wound a boffin. You are not going. Many boffins have died. No, All right, so you get a surge. So he takes two hits. And the second stormtrooper. I hate that feeling of someone chasing you. Ooh, roll that beautiful bean for his <laughs> Yeah. Oh, you negate the whole ball. thing. When you need <laughs> ass fucker. <laughs> and uh, he's gonna move out in here. And that'll be the end of my activation. It's your turn now. Hmm? Alright. I'm gonna move one. Uh, I'm gonna shoot this guy right in the head. Alright. What do you get? Uh, two blues. Two blues. Definitely have the range. Uh, so two hits. I negate two hits. So that's nada. You got some movement points if you want to spend them. You have three more left. can't do that to gain a thing back because you did move one. Hey you can't rest as an action. Okay, well, can you can still, still just stay yeah. there, yeah. I, all right. Um, and then it's uh, your activation turn. Alright. And you get a surge. It's still three damage. He's dead. <laughs> He's already dead. Any surges carry over? K uh, no. The surges you can spend during the attack to do use abilities like pierce. Pierce negates a block. Yeah. Cleave is just an extra damage. Okay. Uh, second activation, can I attack? Uh, you moved in, so that was your sec that oh, was okay. your second activation. Even though I'm with charge, uh, move two spaces, move a number, or what is that? 
you would have to do that as a, that arrow yeah. would be um, a special action, and it costs two strain to do that. So yeah. during your activation, one of your actions could be to do that special action, and, and then take two strain? strain. No, that's damage. Got it. Strain is these tokens. Here, yeah. And if those exceed your yeah, endurance yeah. level, then you take damage. So like different abilities that you have endurance for, like she has one yeah, here that gives yeah. her pierce two, which means she can negate two blocks with her pierce, and it costs a strain. And then if your strain reaches number five, right, you get five strain tokens. On your uh, sixth one, you take a damage instead. And then when you rest, you can recover strain. And if you don't have any strain, you do then you can recover a damage instead when you rest. Nice. And that's an activation. Uh, or a I want to do it just for my sake. Really Alright, so Stormtrooper's going to act. And he's going to try one last ditch effort. And it's a boffin. Ah, that's a boffin. Right. I'm going to see if I can do it. Sense. If I... You know what? It's alright. I'll... No. I'll shoot the boffin. Yeah, I'll shoot the boffin. No I'll try and kill the boffin. I just just because I want many boffins to die. Right here by me. Ooh. I'll re-roll that. So it negates the whole thing anyway. All right, and then my second activation will go one, two. Okay. No. All right. Um. It's on the boss. Boffin. All right. That's gonna take forever. I'm going to move. It's I'm just forever. gonna. Just gonna shoot. All right. Learning your lesson this time. Yeah. All right. So you definitely got range with seven range, and you have four hits. I need a one surge, so that does nothing. That kills the stormtrooper. So that's a quick tutorial. <laughs> Many boffins have one. Well, one boffin has one. Yeah, one boffin has one. One <laughs> boffin. One with bastard the help boffin. Of a mighty Wookiee. Yes, with a cleaver cleave. So, that's a quick tutorial on how to play it. Um, there are more in depth rules uh, in the book, right but here. that was just a tutorial to see, to, to get you guys to learn a little bit of the basics. So, you take turns uh, during your activation, um, you know how damage works. Uh, during the campaign, um, uh. you get a number of cards that look like, that correspond to your character, and uh, they have different abilities on them, and you get so many per turn. And so you'll have different abilities like Special Cleave, or and there's side missions in the campaign, um, where uh, maybe getting a hold of this one terminal can give you the plans for the next Death Star. Um, so it's pretty neat stuff. There's also a skirmish mode of the game. It's a lot like uh, Hero Clicks, where uh, you guys each have 40 points to make a force. And if you notice uh, on the card, there's a points cost for the uh, you know stormtroopers there. For one there. stormtrooper, it's two. For for uh, the full squad, it's six. And they have a, a points cost, I believe, on the regular deployment cards that look like this that are in the pack. And you build a points. Uh, force for like 40 points and then there's different missions that you play in skirmish mode. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. So it's pretty neat, man. So, uh, yeah, well, I'll teach you guys a little bit more later and then, you know, we'll maybe even start a campaign and maybe film those for the channel. I dig that. So there you guys go, Imperium. A uh, little tutorial on Imperial Souls.